Hey there, my name is Carla Nelson and I am welcoming you to Carla's Couch. If you have no clue what I'm talking about, then you've probably never ever witnessed any of the recaps, the red carpet recaps that I do after every single major US award show. And so now I've kind of pumped it up. I mean, it's 2020, why not? In just a few seconds, I'm going to have my team here and we are all gonna sit around and talk all things red carpet. I hope to see you soon. Hope you stick around. Hey guys, hello and welcome to Carla's Couch. As you can see, I am not alone this time. I have got my whole team here with me. I've got Courtney to my left. And I've got Anna right here to my right. Um, today we're gonna do something a little bit different, right? If you have been following with this journey, then you know that we love to recap a red carpet, okay? And you guys know I have jokingly in the past call it, called it Carla's Couch. Well, it's still going to be Car Carla's Couch, but now we've updated the couch. Hello. Um, <laughs> and now we've got a whole crew to talk about this red carpet. So let's get started. All right, guys, what are we, what are we thinking? What is our overall feeling of last night's Golden Glows in the red carpet? I have a few favorites. Okay. Um, are you super excited about them or kind of in the middle? kind of in the middle okay um there weren't any that like i'd say oh my gosh this is the look of the decade mm -hmm. but for the most part i'd say at that least something yeah. noteworthy yeah some that were noteworthy okay what about you anna i have the same sentiment okay <laughs> so, okay you know kind of in the middle maybe a couple like wow mm -hmm. but not like a whole lot of mm -hmm. gotcha pizzazz. gotcha okay well i think that the Golden Globes usually, honestly, they come pretty hard, you know, um, and I think that they did a pretty good job this year. Again, I'm not over the moon, but some of the pieces that I did see, I have maybe two that I'm like, burned in my brain. I love it. I love it. I love it. So let's get started. Okay. So the first person that we're going to talk about is our superstar, Kerry Washington, right? Um, I want to know what you think, Anna. What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts on this look? I like where it could have been mm -hmm. um in terms of the all black and like a little uh, cleavage but i think it's just a little too spread out mm. and, um, if the top blazer was a little more in i think i would like it a lot more but for her especially with the bob i think it is a little like hey who's that <laughs> okay i agree this is definitely something that's a little bit more risque for her like she's usually a little bit more demure right um, this is looks. different for her so this Major is difference. different um i just feel like the execution didn't mm. cut it for me like the tailoring of the skirt it just didn't work yeah yeah and, you know when i first saw this i hated it like i yeah. detested it <laughs> I started seeing a couple more angles and a couple more shots and that made me kind of loosen up and I said okay maybe like the movement of it and like when she was walking and being on camera that really looked different than some of the angles mm -hmm. some of the photos right. really captured um, because when I look at it in pictures it looks almost cheap yeah. like a cheap fashion version Nova. of yeah like a cheap <laughs> fashion Nova version of something that was like high fashion right um but when i saw it in other places it actually did come across a little bit different so that's why i kind of am in the middle i would probably give this maybe like a seven a solid seven but initially it was like a three it was a three right off the bat you know what i mean i'm out of five y'all <laughs> <laughs> all right let's see what else we got Okay, we can't have a red carpet recap yeah. without talking about mm. Taylor Swift, right? America's sweetheart, is that mm. what it is? <laughs> it's kind of sort of, right? Kind of sort of. Right. So, I just, want to, I just want to go on here and say, first of all, I don't even understand why this pattern. This feels like she's going to Hawaii. Like, it just feels like very almost off in terms of, like, the time of year, where she's going to be. Right. It, it just doesn't feel fitting like I would love to see this like during the summer or like mm -hmm. something like it just feels too tropical for the fact that everyone else was like a lot of people were wearing velvet and things yeah, that were so rich, rich and like yeah things that you associate with like winters and mm -hmm. obviously you don't have to stick to winter right. things but this just feels too far left for me at first when I glanced at it quickly it looked like tie-dye mm -hmm. um and then I realized yeah. wait now this this isn't really working mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's like nothing to hate yeah. about it you know what i mean i, I don't want to say like 
I'm not looking like, oh, look yeah, at how her yeah. body looks. It's like, you know, <laughs> there's nothing like for me to like hate, but it's just brunch. like, yeah, it's like, okay, summer wedding. Mm-hmm. And, I'm, you know, I'm going to my best friend's wedding in Hawaii. It's yeah. like, that's what it feels <laughs> like. It doesn't feel like I'm bringing it on red carpet. Shit. Yeah. You know what it's I mean? It's a little yeah. playful. Mm. Maybe too playful. Yeah. It's yeah. okay. Yeah. It may not be the time and place for it, but I do think it looks really good on her. Right. Yeah, it fits I like her. like the earrings matching. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah, it definitely fits style. her. Mm-hmm. It just feels like the wrong, like she was dropped there. <laughs> and like, exactly. Didn't, exactly. Didn't intend to really be there. You know what I mean? All right, let's see what else we, we can talk about. All right. J-Lo, y'all. J-Lo. <laughs> J-Lo. Now, this is a fun fact. No one knows this. When I was a kid, I was obsessed with J-Lo. All things mm-hmm. J-Lo. Um, she could do no wrong. Mm-hmm. I really, I mean, looking back, I still am kind of a fan. I mean, she's that old. She has yeah. killer abs. She kills yeah, the game. But great. this is... The wrong kind of killer. This is just a hot mess. Okay, y'all. I I was low-key trying to root for her for this look. I feel like if she did her hair differently, went without the accessories, she could have pulled it off. Maybe it's the makeup, too. Like, I don't know. It just... It doesn't work well together. I feel like it, there's just a lot going on. It's the bun with the braid, and then it's the jewelry, and then it's the big bow. It's, it's just it a lot. It feels like, you know what it feels like? I don't know if you guys ever have aunts like this or something. Who do the most. <laughs> yes. You know, like, yes. aunt who does, does, yeah, who does the most. It's like, she had a nice dress on, but then she wanted to do a mm. big earring, and a big purse, and a big, and I'm like, comet. Exactly. Damn. That's what this feels like. It's like she has the... Uh, the intricate bun the makeup is a bit much with like the blush then she has that choker then she has the earring then she has the clutch i can't even tell if it's going clashing it looks like it's exactly. clashing um it just feels like that auntie who like feels like she, the more she puts on <laughs> like the better the outfit gets right <laughs> that's what it feels lot, like a lot happening i don't know what do you think about the bow anna uh i actually really do like it mm-hmm. a lot um i do think from seeing it on film that maybe the makeup made it a little too mm-hmm. gold like they're seeing mm-hmm. too much gold but um for j-lo i think it's you know she's been a fashion icon like this past year like everyone's mm-hmm. loving j-lo for what she's wearing mm-hmm. and i really like it a lot i know you said it reminds you of like christmas and like a present mm-hmm. but like her presence is a present <laughs> <laughs> so for me, <laughs> for me i actually really do like it a lot you know what i almost like I almost could see this if she added another accessory to being last year's um, Met Gala. Right. That's yes, how. That's yes. how extra. If she would have yeah. added like some um, earrings that were like ornaments, I would have right. been like, "Oh, you killed it! Yeah, Christmas. You are a whole Christmas <laughs> gift, that's honey." That's why I think if she just let the dress like stand on its own, mm-hmm. like just simple hair, like side part, yeah. mm-hmm. no jewelry. I feel like it's a slick back. Yeah, even a slick like, back, yeah. right. Because mm-hmm. we, I, like I saw it on the model and it, it worked on the model. I just didn't like it on J-Lo. Surprisingly, how could I not like it on J-Lo? Exactly. Yeah. It's like you it's want J-Lo. to root for J-Lo. It's yeah. J-Lo. It's like not rooting for Beyonce. You know what I mean? Exactly. But we just, I just can't do it. I know yeah. Anna can, but I can't do it this time. I tried J-Lo. I, okay. What about this? This is a controversial look. When it's Paltrow, and I've heard both sides, so I want to hear from you guys because I've heard people who are like, oh my gosh, and I've heard people who are like, what's going on? <laughs> um, so I want to know what you guys think. I'm definitely more on the what's going on side. Okay. I just don't know what's happening. I just don't get it. This is not even Gwyneth. Mm-hmm. Um, I, don't, I don't get the story. I don't get the message. Like, what is this girl? What, mm. what is it? I don't understand the, um, the frills. Like, it's, it's just a lot happening. And then you compound that with the jewelry. There's a lot happening. <laughs> Anna, what do you think? I think it's another time and place. Um, I like it. I don't like the sheerness of the bottom. I feel like if that was more, like, not see-through, then mm. it would make it a little more polished. Um, but because of the coloring and it being the Golden Globes, um, it seems yeah. a lot more Western and, like, mm-hmm. boho chic, um, where you should be a lot more, like, polished and pizzazz yeah. and, mm. you know classic <laughs> you know what for me i actually love the whole look i just wouldn't want to see on somebody else i almost would want to see it on somebody maybe a little bit more golden or more brown and i feel like it would be more of a moment um whether and this almost feels like it's just thrown on her like i would want to see this on like a gorgeous like 
brown fashion queen who could really take it to where right. it needs to be because I feel like it could be a moment in that. But on her, it almost looks like she's trying to be something. And that agree, it yeah. feels like off. It doesn't feel like on brand for her almost. You know That's what I mean? That's an issue too. And it, 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 she doesn't fill it out as well. Mm -hmm. So it's just straight and just, I, I don't understand it. I'm yeah. really trying. So it's, it's, so I love it. I just don't love it on her. That's that's yeah. my takeaway. Okay. That's my takeaway. I love it. I don't love it on her. I think it's just wrong. Okay. Beyonce, um, Beyonce, <laughs> my girl, my, my style icon on a normal. Is she Friday. really on a normal Friday? Okay, 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 okay. But um, with this look, I think this is one of those where it's like, it's Beyonce, so we, we let her get away with it. No, 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop you right there. She looks like a queen, y'all, yes, y'all are does. playing. And listen, as much as I love Beyonce, I will be, I love to be honest. So when mm -hmm. she's not bringing it, I'll be like, mm, I mean, yeah, she kind of styles okay. differently. <laughs> but to me, she looks like a vision, like the way that the col that golden coloring goes against like that, like blonde or hair. She went a little lighter on her hair. Mm -hmm. She almost looks like honey on the top, like the way that she's yeah. glistening. Like a, for me, the dress is not something where I will remember that dress. Mm -hmm. If it was on somebody else, I probably would never even think about it again. But the way that they paired it together and made it look like it just was like molded for her. That is what I love about this look. That is what I love. And I have to stop you because <laughs> no, 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 no. She's a vision. Like, again, I feel like Beyonce can always push the boundaries yeah. and go as far as she wants. Mm -hmm. And I don't think this is her going as far as exactly. she really wanted, mm -hmm. you know? But if I were to say that this doesn't look like, oh my gosh, like, look at how it's hugging her curse. She just yeah, looks like, to me, she's like a anyway. bottle of honey. Like, this is amazing. <laughs> I don't know. Anna, what are you thinking? What are you thinking? Uh, I like it. I do think the top is a little bit too pushed up. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Maybe if it was like a little bit lower, closer to the waist. Mm. Um, this photo, I don't think it has the gloves. One part, oh, she had, like she had gloves. gloves. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I really like that off. combination with it. Um, so it's not bad at all. She definitely, you know, has the body for it. I just think the top is just too bird. Gotcha. <laughs> Like, Another thing that about. now that I'm looking at it mm -hmm. in more detail, um, I, I'm not crazy about the sleeves with her hair. Mm. Maybe if she wore her hair up, I feel like you could you could see a little bit a more, more detail. Sleeves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I feel like it kind of melts in with gotcha. the sleeves. But I think I almost like the melting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I almost like the melting. I think if she were to, for me, if she would have done too much with the hair. Um, I would have been okay with like a simple mm -hmm. slick bun or something, bun or something, or something. Yeah. but like anything else to me would have taken away oh, and sure. I like mm -hmm. just like this glowing. It just gives me that, like how we want to feel when we wake up, you know, like you yeah. want to walk out and you want to feel like the sun hits you and like that you're glowing. <laughs> That's what I get from this. You know what I mean? Exactly. Okay. So for our next one here, we have Billy Porter. If you guys have been paying attention, I mean, if you pretty much aren't living under a rock, you know that for the, like, over the past year, he's just been going over the top at every award. I mean, any chance you give him, he's extra, right? And he didn't fail to disappoint here. What are you guys thinking? Like, I, I like this. Actually, this might be one of my favorite looks from him, to be honest. I like the mix of, like, the classic masculinity mm -hmm. and then adding like light flair yeah for me this is probably my favorite look for him because of that and it just i'm just giving all these like angel vibes like yeah. you know what yeah. i mean yeah. like he at all times yeah, yeah for sure i'm getting so many angel vibes almost like when you watch one of those movies and like you are miraculously in heaven now like <laughs> yeah, this is exactly. like yeah. this is like the the head angel because he's so extra exactly. yeah <laughs> funny enough although this is one of my favorite looks from him i still don't think that it really compares to some of his last mm. looks like i mean obviously camp was a little bit more over the top right but i mean it's a little safe mm -hmm. for him he, he usually pushes the boundary yeah a little bit more yeah i feel like he could have Okay. A little bit more. I can see that. I think I like when he's a little bit more subdued almost. Mm. Because I think sometimes I think he's doing the, the, the most. most at all times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, and I'm here for extra. You know that. 
um, as I like comb through my very <laughs> long braids, I'm here through. I'm here for extra, but sometimes I don't want you to feel like this ain't your show. Like this right. ain't mm-hmm. you know the the Billy Porter, the Billy Porter Awards. Awards. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so sometimes I don't like that when he's like overarching the whole thing. So this one mm-hmm. to me feels like. You're gonna grab the attention because you have this long extra yeah. veil and everything, it but it's still like very classic in the all white. You guys know I love an all white, yeah. so kind of that's a sweet spot for me. Yeah, he definitely did that, <laughs> um, and it's you know fluid enough where mm. it's not like too crazy. But because we know what he's been doing for the past years, yeah. like you can accept it. Like right, this is, what, this is what you would do exactly. Um, and the color looks nice on him. It's very crisp and clean yeah. and. Um, yeah for sure Let's see who else we got okay this was easily one of my favorites same so this is joey king um i don't know if you've ever seen the show that she's on but it's so great to see her when she's not on that show because in that show she plays like this quiet yeah, little, little child girl. not dressed up she like barely gets to mm-hmm. wear makeup like and then when she comes on the red carpet it's like oh okay yeah. well you didn't get any hair, real any real exactly. hair and makeup on the show, so now I feel like she's yeah. going all out. <laughs> it's very cool, like watching her transition from like you know this little girl that role into this, that we get introduced to, you her know, as. very chic and very sophisticated. Mm-hmm. This was easily one of my favorite looks as well. Um, but when I saw it paired up against the model, I realized that it did make her look very short, mm-hmm. and it swung her just a bit. Um, but just in terms of the grace and the poise, yes. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. It feels like if I were to put, if I were to look up elegant, like I just feel mm-hmm. like this is it. Like the po- like to me, you cannot walk into a place in this and not like have your head lifted high, exactly. like walking gracefully, like because this just deserves it. Like, yeah. And I can tell even with the movement of it. Oh my gosh, this is a dream. I love this. I, I'm here for it. Yeah, this is easily top two. It reminds me of a jellyfish. Okay. <laughs> All right. A, a, a jellyfish you want to get stung by. Like, okay. Like, so the cool one. The yeah. cool one. Like, you're like, hmm, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. Gotcha. <laughs> okay, let's talk about this. So, you mentioned that Beyonce was one of your side icons. She is she actually is. one of my, Zoe Kravitz is actually one of my side icons. Um, I like a lot of her, like, she plays with edginess a lot. Yeah. Um, and I love that. Now, I love this look, the dress, really, because I love a mixed print. Mm-hmm. I love any time that Same. we get to, like, experiment yeah. and be, like, a little risky. Because to me, most people are afraid of mixed exactly. print. And that's why I love it even more. Mm-hmm. Um, so for me, I love this dress. Is it a top favorite? No. But I do absolutely love the look. And I love that she's still stuck with, like, a classic red lip. Yeah. I feel like that pulls it all back together. You know what I mean? Here's the thing. I think she and Kerry Washington should have switched. Oh. Like, just just in my mind of what I envisioned their style to be. I can see that. I, I see Kerry Washington yeah. in this. Yeah. Maybe, maybe she just doesn't want to be so safe anymore. But Right. I think that's yeah, what it is. Yeah, that's what it is. Mm-hmm. But I... I mean, this isn't Zoe either. I mm-hmm. feel like she's definitely a little bit more edgy, but yeah. I, I thought it was still quite elegant mm-hmm. and gorge for her. Yeah, and I think two things that like she has that will always forever make her look edgy is a short, the short, yes, like the dramatic pixie. cut, mm-hmm. and then the tats that she always yeah. loves to show. So I think that even when she does this mm-hmm. more like classic, like you're show, right, I could actually imagine this on someone like a Carrie Washington mm-hmm. who's usually more classic. But even when she does it, it's going to have a mm-hmm. little bit of a, a little bit of a twist, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, for sure. I love the red lip. What do we think about this one, guys? The hair made this look for me. Okay. Um, I, it adds an edge to it. I feel like if she did anything else with the hair, I would have been like, nah. Throw, <laughs> throw, throw the whole thing away. I like it. I think it's a little bit on trend, especially because we've been seeing a lot of like neon green mm-hmm. lately. Yeah. Yeah. So, and like playing that up to be a little more uh, elegant. Right, um, right. We haven't seen that. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, good point. Yeah. For me, I don't hate it. Definitely don't hate it. But it's not, to me, it's not really doing much mm-hmm. for her. Number one, I would probably get rid of the necklace. I probably wouldn't have done a, more of a mm-hmm. dramatic earring because you have that like sh- that hair and then the dramatic earring to me would have been great and not like almost choked her up. It, this yeah. just feels like it's sh- something about her neck just looks now disproportionate and everything looks off. So there's that. And then again, like 
after seeing all those amazing mm-hmm. gowns and dresses, I'm like, mm. you know, it just looks yeah. like somebody's like mom who is gorgeous and great for her shape and her age and exactly, you know, but isn't like a star. You know yeah, what I mean? Like, yeah. it doesn't give me star power. It just gives me, oh, your mom looks amazing. Tonight. Exactly. You yeah. know what I mean? And I'm not yeah. crazy about the belt either. Mm, Even yeah, though, like, I think it kind of pulls it together. In terms I of almost video. would have rather her. Even ditch the necklace. Like, oh, I mean, according to me, she's ditched the necklace a long time ago. <laughs> and then do maybe a more um, dramatic belt. Because this feels like the cheap belt that comes yeah, with You know, like, like when you have a cheap belt that comes with this. <laughs> <laughs> you just put it yeah, on. And yeah, and you, exactly. That's exactly what this looks like. Let's see what else we got. Okay, so I actually don't know who this I woman know who is. is yeah. um, but when I saw her, her name is Divine Joy. When I saw this dress, and how it fit her, and especially because on a lot of the red carpet recaps, I've talked about how I felt like the plus size women were a lot of times slighted, mm-hmm. and I'm like, yeah, what are they putting her in? I'm so sorry. Like it would hurt my heart. Mm-hmm. And so when I saw this, I was like, oh, I have to talk about her. So apparently, she's from Dolomite Is My Name, which is um, an Eddie Murphy um, feature that was, a lot of people yeah. have talked about. So amazing. I love this color on her. The color, yes. yes, gorgeous, gorgeous. It's the perfect hue for her and it gives you that pop without being like i'm you know overwhelming the show um the cut the fit like the i cut, love everything yes. i love this slit giving me just enough skin, skin you mm-hmm. know what i mean i this is a dream what do you guys think i agree i i, I saw this initially mm-hmm. and at first i was like oh i, I don't know who she is i didn't really pay attention right. to it and then i saw it on pictures and i was like wait this is really gorgeous yeah like, the color and everything it just works I love the hair and everything. Mm-hmm. Everything came together. It, it reminds me of like a sexy Ursula. Like, oh! Oh! <laughs> I can see that. Like, so Disney, Disney, like, you like know. a fairy godmother. Right, 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 right. Okay, okay. Disney, take your notes. All right. Okay, so let me okay. start here. Let me start. <laughs> Girl. Listen. <laughs> and ironically enough, I was literally last night just well, before the Golden Globes just watching um, her latest stand-up, which is the Black Mitzvah. I don't know if you guys have seen I it. I have seen it. Right? So just watching it, great. She actually looked great on there. Here, not so much. You know what I mean? Here, again, is giving me, like, my mom, you know, she's coming to the gala with me. Mm-hmm. My mom, you know, she looks beautiful, and that's great. But <laughs> Tiffany has a whole team, okay? Yeah. And when you have a whole team, I expect you to look like mm-hmm. you have a whole team. Almost like... The hair almost looks like, you know, mom was like, let me just throw some curls in there tonight. <laughs> <laughs> not even girls. If it was but girls, yeah, but yeah. like, girls. right, right, right. But it almost feels like, you know, when your mom tries to like finagle something for church in the morning, you know, right. but, you know, <laughs> put it together real nice. That's what it feels like. This does not yeah. feel like the Tiffany Haddish that is blowing up. That's a superstar. That's literally everywhere you look. This does not look like what she deserves. At all the shape, okay. I mean the colors. The color is pretty. The color is pretty. That's about it. That's about it. That's that's literally how I felt when I saw it. I was like, oh, I love the color. Like yeah. even look at the what accessories else? right yeah. now. Like to me, again, this feels very mom. Like the matching um, bracelet with the, the earring or something. Yeah. You know when it comes in a set. Like exactly. The, yeah. The <laughs> necklace or something, or the earring, and it comes in a set. And you're like, oh, that's so cool. Like, like everything about this is basic in the wrong ways. Yeah, yeah for as loud as she is and like as popping as she is. Yeah. yeah. And she, she presented as well. More. So you you would have thought, oh, you would have did a little bit more if you were presenting, you know. This feels like a last minute grab. Yeah. It doesn't match her personality. At all. Me. At all. And you know what I've noticed? Lately I've been seeing her in a lot more matronly outfits. I'm gonna reference them. Um I'm gonna show everyone. But um I have noticed that lately, her last two or three um, red carpet, she's been doing things that are more like almost conservative, mm-hmm. and, and I'm like, that, yeah, yeah, and I'm like, that doesn't match your brand, yeah, yeah. At all. like, I'm expecting you to be the rah rah, like, and then you're just like, hmm. and I'm like, what? <laughs> like, this doesn't, I'm, you. Yeah. I'm just a bit so safe. confused. I don't know if she's like for no going reason. through a, yeah. a life change or like, <laughs> seriously, I don't know what it is, but I'm like, this just ain't it though. Yeah. No tip, sorry. Okay. Anna, <laughs> you can start on this, because this, you brought this to my, my attention. This one just reminds me of a gum job. Like, <laughs> I like the sheen of the mm-hmm. material, but overall, like, it, it's too long. It's not doing anything for her. Um, 
Yeah. Let me tell you the one thing I do like. Or one or two things. I actually do like pretty much like the sleeves and the neckline. I think that could have been an interesting dress. Mm -hmm. And I like like the face. Like it's nice and clean with a you know big statement earring. Everything else, once she gets past like the armpits, I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> She's got a, a feather um, clutch that don't, that really doesn't even doesn't blend well. Pink shoes. It's, I don't need it to match, but it doesn't even go well. You've got a, a fuchsia mm -hmm. satin um, shoe. With, like, where yeah. are we going with this? This is a half the half bra line. Doesn't work to me. I feel like if it um, if it stuck out more, like if it was like a wider skirt line, then I, I feel like it would have really caught my eye but just swallows her like entirely it's it almost much. looks like an unfinished art project yeah yeah like they were like yeah. they were gonna do something very artistic and then they were like last minute eh, let's, let's just wrap this up yeah. yeah 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 we don't have time for this like that's what it feels like it feels like it was gonna do something so extra in the back exactly and, the yeah. and then you're just yeah. like oh that's it yeah that's that's it. It. Really good. Like, and then the hair it would have been a bit more mod mm, true right a different yeah. take and maybe mm -hmm. we would have liked that a little better you know what I mean? Yeah, just even wider. I, I feel like it was wider. Yeah, wider. that's what I'm saying. Like, go there. If yeah. you're going to go there, go all the way. <laughs> she just stopped at the halfway like, eh, this will do. Yeah, this will work. Yeah. But it didn't. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so here's my problem here. Let's let's just start with the problem. Um, <laughs> Honey, I'm pretty sure by this time she's like 30. She's like our age, right? Yeah. She's like around, right? About she's 30, old enough, yeah. right? <laughs> And she's still wearing what probably her parents used to pick out for her or something, right? Yeah. When she was younger, right? When she was super young on these red carpets. And yes, I do love that tone for her. That color yeah, is great. Even the yeah. material, I love the softness because her mm -hmm. hair and her eyes, everything about her is such a soft kind of element. Mm -hmm. But everything else, honey, bring it. Bring it. Start yeah. bringing it. Start showing us your personality. Start showing us who we can expect you to be. I feel like she's just kind of there. You know what yeah, I mean? Like, blending yeah. in, like, this will work, right? Yeah. It's worked for the past 12 years, so exactly. why not today? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. sweetheart kind of thing. I feel like, almost like It's almost like when you don't know your identity. And you don't know yeah. how you want to show up, so you Be do what's the safest. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Been doing. Yeah, or what's yeah. been working. But a lot of times, you can outgrow what's been working. Exactly. And this feels like it for sure. Because I'm looking at her face, and I'm like, her face is like, getting harder <laughs> or like getting a little yeah, older a little you know older. like you know what i mean like that's just the best way she is she her age is starting to show not mm -hmm. in a bad way where she's looking like elderly yeah, this yeah. Is but i can tell like i can look at you and be like okay here's about the age range that you're in so why don't we try something a little bit different that's all yeah. I'm yeah a little bit more grown up it, it looks like she's still trying to be a kid yeah like she, like she's trying to yeah. pass pass kid. yeah yeah that's exactly Get what it feels like rides. yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. It, <laughs> really it looks like she's trying to pass yeah and like make it work it's a bit safe a bit too safe. safe too safe for sure my girl my why girl. is she your girl <laughs> my girl i love her oh Loved my god it. first Loved of all it. before we even get into this look I don't know who's gonna win the battle, Storm Reid or Zendaya, for like how hard they're both coming. Literally, she is a mini Zendaya. She even looks like her to me. I also am like, yeah. who's gonna win? <laughs> because Storm has not been playing with anyone exactly. lately. Exactly. <laughs> yes, her last. And I'm like, like oh, oh, okay, I see what's mm -hmm. going on here. And actually, I've seen them do some things together. So I'm like, yeah, okay. yeah. Do you guys have like a little competition going on? Right. I don't know <laughs> what it is, but this is a dream. She's a vision. Like, she's a vision. This literally looks like I just want to take a picture of it and put it up on my wall, like yeah. right here. Like just frame that's it. how gorgeous this moment is. And to me, she stole the show. She right did. Here. Everything was per like I couldn't like everything was perfect. Everything. I, yeah. There's nothing to comment on where it's like mm, maybe she no. Yeah, maybe it's she fine. Have, nah. It's perfect. It's fine. The way it is. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. Like. What else? You just give it to me. Yeah. Like, and you just bow down and you just say, There you go. You are winning. You won. Literally. She definitely knows how to show off the dress. Mm. Yeah. yeah. That's key. She, it kind of not reminds me, but in comparison to like Taylor Swift, where it was like, you know, this may not be the time and place for like mm. the season for it. Mm -hmm. However, this, this one, works. even though this works. Like, yeah, this works. Very artistic. Maybe like Picasso ish. Like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That kind of painting. Almost like a painted mm -hmm. dress. Yes. Mm -hmm. And again, notice where she took 
the photos, like in the last one, she took a picture like on a tennis court. You kind of get the vibe too mm -hmm. as well. And when she did the photos in the forest, like yeah. you do get the feel. It looks a little bit more wintry. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's the difference between her and Taylor's. Like with Taylor's, you can't really put it in context. Yeah. This one makes a little bit more mm -hmm. sense. Yeah. No, yeah. I, I absolutely, absolutely love this. It's perfect. Seven. 10, 11. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So let's talk about our last one. So I want to know what you guys' thoughts are on this. And I'll go last. How about that? Let's do that. Let's do that. So I like the shape on her. I like mm -hmm. showing off her shoulders. Okay. Um, maybe not the material. Are these are sleep sequins? Yeah, it looks like sequins. And then yeah, she has some sequins. pearls or beading up here. That if it was a different material, even the coloring would have been better, mm. but it's not for her right now. <laughs> not right now. <laughs> what it do you think? For right now? I was fine. Like I wasn't over the moon. I was fine up until I saw her shoes. Mm. The shoes threw everything off for really? me. Really? Because then I, I looked at everything differently. Like I looked at the dress differently. It looked a little bit more matronly. Mm -hmm. Um, And then just the pointed shoes. I, I don't feel like it. <laughs> you were like the worse. pointed yeah, shoes? Yeah. You were so offended by that. <laughs> <laughs> it threw everything off. And I'm also not crazy about the little... Um, necklace. What is that? Yeah, the little pendant mm -hmm. on the necklace. I feel like you could have gone without the pendant. I think... This absolutely agree with the matronly idea. Yeah. This feels like if I saw this on Meryl Streep, I would be like, oh, <gasps> yeah. Oh my mm -hmm. gosh, Meryl, you look at me. Like, I would have been blown away. I see this on her, I'm like, girl, if you don't, Damn, <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you don't come harder than this, like, this feels like that classic, like, you're going somewhere very elegant and conservative. You've almost got to cover up. So the only thing that you'll show is your shoulders. Exactly, your shoulders. And yeah. you are probably a little older, so you don't want to show a lot. You know, that's what it feels like. And it doesn't help with that pendant because this feels matronly as well. Yeah. That's something that a lot of older women would love, like that, exactly. that, that style. And I don't feel like it fits her brand. I don't feel like it fits her look. I just don't feel like it fits her age. She is so talented. I don't know if you yeah, guys have is. seen yes, she any is. of her like movies. She sings a, like she is unstoppable. She she's a tight. talent. Yeah, she has sing. She is an amazing talent, and she's now kind of budding up right yeah. now. And I need her to start identifying how she wants to come across. Because mm -hmm. I think if she were fun. to kind of be more strategic, just like Storm Reed and yes, Zanea, mm -hmm. and kind of go there. People would take more note Notice, because yeah. you know this red carpet is not just to attend events. It's like to to gain a recognition, to start branding mm -hmm. yourself as yeah. an actress, as a you know as a celebrity. You do brand exactly. yourself as you go out. It's like you know what to expect from a Kim K. You know what to expect from certain people, and she. I want her to really own in that because I mean she's got a shaved head. It's colored. Mm -hmm. She's got pierced earrings. Clearly, you're a little bit more edgy. Yeah. Clearly, you're somebody who likes to kind of push. A little bit exactly but you're wearing something that Meryl Streep would wear yeah because I'm not too familiar with her but you're right like she I wouldn't sing. remember her or know what she's about or yeah I feel like she's maybe trying to do it the Beyonce method you establish yourself first mm -hmm. like get in there and then you say hey this is who I am this is what I'm about and if you don't like it too bad right that's, that's what I feel like she's kind of but, but see let me tell you the problem yeah. with that you waste time yeah. Mm -hmm. If you don't decide who you are in the beginning, and this goes for celebs, mm -hmm. this goes for anyone, if you don't decide who you are, I mean, we're in January, right? So we're <laughs> yeah. talking about like creating a vision, like being strategic about every single thing you do. If you don't decide who you are, who you want to be, what your mm -hmm. one year plan, five year plan is, whatever, then you get lost in the sauce. And any little idea someone gives you, you're like, oh, I'll try that. I mean, I guess I'll wear mm -hmm. that. I guess I'll look yeah. up like this. You know, one day you're chic, the next day you, you like, casual bummy then the next day you're like <laughs> you know your traditional Meryl Streep yeah. it's like we want to know who you are we want you to make your mark we want you to yeah. really stand in who you are and she she missed it right here yeah she like, definitely this missed like it. the first or biggest award to start the year off yeah mm -hmm. yeah that look off for you like it's not this ain't it yeah. <laughs> this ain't nobody gonna remember this except for maybe this one or two grandmas story. who are like I want to wear that you know what I mean it's like that's not even you want to attract yeah. like we want to talk about you and be like oh my gosh 
did you see this woman? Especially she's new. She wants to make that name. You want to have people talking about you. Yeah. Like, oh, I don't even know who that is. Cause see, like you don't know her work, right? No. And so imagine if she would have came out stunning. Mm -hmm. You would have looked her up like, who is this? Who is that? Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? But you see this and you're like, oh, scroll. <laughs> like you don't care. And that. Yeah, that. That's and that point. is the point. Not only with celebs, but with us. Like everyday mm -hmm. life. Like. If you miss your chance to like make your mark and just show up who you are big, the first time you may never get another chance. She's beautiful. Yeah, she is. <laughs> Listen, and then later on, I'm gonna have to feature. Yes, right yeah. she shows her shoulders a lot. I think she likes her arms. Um, but this ain't it. So, guys, I want to know from you guys, favorites, favorites of the night, Storm. Like that's it. You're like, what's like, the what's the what's the conversation here? <laughs> Priyanka Chopra, she was a favorite as well. Okay, okay, Anna. And I blush pink. You know, I do like Storm as well, but mm -hmm. I think everybody loves Storm. And I'm also, you want to be different? <laughs> oh my gosh! gosh. <laughs> I know. I know. Um, so either Zoe, um, because I love prints and patterns. And oh, okay. Zoe, mm -hmm. like, yeah. I think her haircut went really well with it. Um, or even though y'all was hating. J Lo. J Lo? <laughs> yes. As I mean, talk? there was like some parts, you know, that could have been a little bit different, uh -huh. like maybe the hair bun, but overall, like, I really do like that dress. Mm. So, and I'm going to remember the dress. So that's true. That's true. Like, you will remember. Memorable. Sometimes, yeah. I don't know if that's a good memory, but that's okay. That's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Um, for me, it's absolutely Storm Reed and Joey King. Joey King, yeah. It's got to be. It. Like, those dresses will be burned in my brain. Mm -hmm. I will always remember those looks. And so for me, that's what that's what the takeaway. Like obviously we talked about so many people and so many of them have like great. Oh, I like that. I like yeah. that. But like I want to go for the person who's like, "Oh my gosh, did you see that?" You know, mm -hmm. someone who I would save in my phone and look at again like, "Ah, oh, a moment." You know, yeah. if I don't give you a moment or a dream, <laughs> Then it's, did it really happen? Like, exactly. did you really yeah. slay? You know what, what I mean? Are. So uh, those are my favorites. Any any last comments? What are we thinking, ladies, for the night? Uh, basically just looking forward to the next award show and seeing how they're yes. going to top it. Mm. Or mm. Grammys are coming up. Mm. Make up for it. Um, yeah. Grammys are coming up this month. They are. <laughs> yeah. And honestly, I'm scared for the Grammys. Because let me tell you something. The Grammys be a hot mess. I'm not going <laughs> to lie. time. <laughs> A hot mess. I don't know <laughs> what it is. I, I have this theory that actors and actresses have better yes, stylists I was gonna say that, yeah. than the musicians. I don't know why. I don't know. I mean, technically, they should have access mm -hmm. to the same people, right? I mean, I think you know? kind of the difference, too, is like with, with artists, they try to sell themselves like as personas versus like actors and actresses. It's more about like, look at my work, mm -hmm. not, not look at me. I feel like that's kind of the difference. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I feel like the sweet spot is mixing that. For sure. There we go. All right, guys. That's all we've got today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Comment on who your faves were. And if you think we're wrong, tell us. <laughs> Toodles.